everyone i'm back with um another video of a um very <laughs> disturbing um two very disturbing images that i received a few nights ago i'm just gonna jump right in um i i think this is just warning um people how close we are but the lord does not give me um like demonic or or evil images rarely has that happened maybe once or twice in the past i've probably had a dream but normally i do not see things like this i know a lot of people do but i'm just not one of those people who um see like evil things so one night i went to bed and i was in the middle of praying and i was about to pray for everyone um in the world all the saints the people who are lost and just when i was about to pray this open-eyed vision of this man who he must have been dead already like a zombie like he was evil you can tell he was possessed and he had like a very pale face a, a white caucasian man with um long hair and he was bracing up against the door like he was just waiting and he, like he looked like a like an old rock and roller kind of like that kind of vibe but he was possessed and he, you could tell he worked for the devil and he was just staring and waiting and i'm like i had to shake it out i was like what is this what is this that i'm seeing so um i was like okay you know i i remembered the verse in my head that said cast down every imagination and bring it under the submission of christ so that's what i did i'm like you know what cancel that cancel that whole vision that i just saw it was brief like two to three seconds like i said i don't get these type of flashes so for that to happen it was kind of like spooky then immediately when i was about to begin to pray again a second open eye vision popped up like a screen and you just see this big big huge red devil satan himself in hell with like what looks like not a frying pan you know the sh the handheld strainers you could like strain things in he had a big one and um there were people inside of it he was holding it and shaking them over like this cauldron of fire and you could hear the people screaming but they weren't in the fire yet it's like he was getting ready to cook them and he was saying in the vision he is like Oh wait wait let me let me warm it up some more and then he was like making moaning noises like a perverted like he was getting off on it like you could feel like he was getting turned on by their screams and their torment he was getting tor he was getting like just turned on by it like this is what he does he loves it he loves it he hates us so much that he loves to torment he hates God's people so much that it 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 pleasures him to torment. They weren't even in the fire yet. He just had them over like this. Wait, wait, let me let me turn it up more. Mm -hmm. And he's making all these sexual perverted noises and it was scary. I saw like people that were regular people like me and you, people that were dressed in business suits, like corporate looking people, and they were like they couldn't crawl out of the of the whatever that was in his hand the strainer they couldn't crawl out of it they couldn't fall in the fire but they felt the heat right underneath them just like you were about to fry something and he was just like he looked this, this wicked grin on his face like it's, it seemed almost as if it, once he gets the goal once the devil gets permission from God he would drop all those people in it, something is holding well, not something. The Lord is holding back for these set of people in his hand to be dropped into this cauldron, this lake of fire. Um, so, yeah, that that really shook me up. Um, there's, there is a cry from the Lord to everyone that is not fully awake or um have not repented as yet he's he's crying out for his people he's sending his messengers to to warn and 
folks are just not waking up because the time is drawing near like the lord is coming back very soon and the people that belong to god will be going with god and the, the children of the devil will be going to the devil like there's going to be a separation between the wheat and the tears and those tears belong to the devil so please if you do not know the lord jesus as your savior I pray that this video opened your eyes. I want you to share this video. If you, you know, we have a lot of family members or friends that we can't reach out to that's just not waking up to, to the seriousness of this eternal um, destiny that that they they are not they don't have ears to hear please send this video to them hopefully it'll wake them up this is this is real i do not get visions like that i do not get visions like that so for that to flash just when i was about to pray for the people in this world was just like i was getting a glimpse of what is happening in the spiritual realm okay there's a separation going on there's people that belong to God. There's people that belong to the devil. God wants no one to perish. He does not want anyone to go into that lava flame of fire. He does not want it. Okay? Please. I'm not into doing the whole fear mongering. This is not to put any fear in anyone. I tend to look forward and keep my eyes on Christ. I do not believe that. I believe fear is a liar. But this right here shook me up. Because I seen it, I felt it, and I just, I just saw how I got angry because he, that devil looked so, he, this is what he does for fun. It's fun for him. And many of us are falling into his traps. Please read the word of God. Please pray. Please pray. The Lord is asking for your hand. He has his hand stretched out daily daily to us whatever you're going through or whatever you feel like you cannot conquer or get through by yourself that's why you have jesus that's why you have a savior you're not strong enough to do this you're not strong enough to get through this only he can do this and you have to surrender you have to get down weak so that you could be strong you have to get down to the ground in tears and cry out for the help and surrender don't be in control he cannot help you if you want to be in control you're not strong you need to totally surrender and let him be strong for you give it to him okay give it to him if it's depression if it's anxiety if it's heartbreak if it's whatever homosexuality drunkenness whatever it is you can be delivered okay you just have to move out the way Say, Jesus, take it, please, take it. I can't do it. Just say that. And truly get out the way. That's how he, he, his power works. You need to leave it and have faith in him. Okay? Now, I'm not into fear, but there's only one person you should fear. Okay? And I'm going to read the verse from Matthew 10, verse 28. Fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Okay? In hell. That's forever. You don't want to be lit on fire forever. The only fire you want to feel is the fire of God, the cleansing through the pressure that you need to go through to change and be a new person, okay? Jesus is lit, like my church said. You don't want the other way. Repent, 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 and take Jesus' hand. Take his hand today. Take his hand today. Almighty Father, I'm going to pray with you right now. Lord, Whoever this video is for, whoever is watching this video that is struggling with something, dear Lord, we pray and ask you to help them to surrender, to help them to give up, and to allow you to do what you do and have total dominion over whatever they're going through, that they may cross over into your light, into your glory and power. 
and to be with you forever and ever. Touch them, Lord. I ask you humbly, touch them. Touch the screen. Touch them in the name of Jesus. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Believe it, okay? Believe it. What I saw there is something that's pending. Not every person who gets a vision or a dream it means it's going to come to pass. We get these things as a warning, as a gift from God to tell us and show us where we're at or what's pending in the spiritual realm because it has to first take place in the spiritual before it physically manifests in this realm. So that is what's shown that what is pending, okay? This is not a game. This is serious. Please, don't let unforgiveness don't let depression or anxiety or all these things that the devil is having you believe that you have no power over. Don't let him fool you. When you're in Jesus, when you give it to him and surrender, you've overcome right there on the spot. You don't need a whole process in years and months. Right there on the spot, it is taken away. But you have to move out the way. You have to. Repent, Jesus is coming. Repent, the devil is waiting. Okay? He just needs the permission. God controls everything and where you go. But you have the choice. I hope this message touches someone. Okay? Um, I love you all. God bless.